Hello my viewers and welcome back to another unboxing, viewing and testing and today I have this portable power bank from All Powers, the model S200 with 200 watt output, 154 watt hours in the past I have made a video about this portable power bank you can check down below in the description or after the end of this video today is all about this assembly but before that let's talk uh, more about this product you can use the AC output and give power to any device with maximum 200 watts or you can wireless charge your smartphone any device with wireless compatibility here you can charge your laptop, smartphone, tablet, camera, your power bank, Bluetooth speaker, battery drone and more from the two USB-A output or from the Type-C at the same time from the Type-C you can charge this power station or from the DC in with this power adapter just plug it in here and start charging or you can use both simultaneously Type-C and the power adapter for faster charging I'm facing a problem with this portable power bank and that it is I cannot charge from the DC in without any reason suddenly it stopped work and is not charging from the power adapter here it doesn't do anything we can see the input DC output and the amount of power that is drawing when you have connect any device but if I'm going to connect the type C there's a type C connection here green light and it start charging we can see the input maximum 60 watt right now so I can only charge this uh, portable power bank from the type C without any reason I don't know it stopped working from the power adapter and at the moment when charging from the power adapter I have realized something it smells so the smell was uh, from this uh, power bank and without any second thought I have removed uh, the power adapter from the plug and stopped charging I was thinking well let's disassemble this unit and find out what is the problem maybe see what parts it has inside and how it works so let's do that now for the disassemble you need to remove uh, four screws I have already done that and of course you need to remove uh, four parts that was at the base six I thought there was six screws that's why I have removed uh, all the silicon parts and somehow with this tool we need to reveal the internals okay that was all okay here we are inside we can see we have the wireless charger module PCB circuit board for wireless charge your smartphone connect it up the main board let's turn it on we can see we have a blue and then red light the LCD display now it will be safe before seeing all the parts inside to unplug the battery from the main board there's the battery pack let's remove the connection okay now it is safe press the button again if it has any power at the capacitors yep and now it is empty we can touch everything so inside we have the main board the transformer here a large heatsink cool down the diodes any part we have a fan connected at the main board here just pull that we can remove the fan the fan it works when you are using the AC output maximum 200 watt let's unplug and the wireless charging module 
Now inside we have capacitors, here, here. We have a resistor, diode, inductor. Two cables are going at the AC output without any ground connection. I don't see any ground connection. Nope. We can remove that. We have a ground here connection, but only two cables. Hmm, that is weird. Okay. And of course we have in the power pack. I can see we have uh, here the BCB, the board covered with this uh, plastic. PCB board for the battery management. We have this plastic here. The battery cells are 18650 and we have a total 8 and 8 16 cells. Now I'm not going to remove the battery. I don't want that. I'm sure it is glued at the base. I can see here inside we have in the temperature sensor. Nice. The LCD board here connected at the main board and here it is the board uh, for charging from the type C, DC in, the two buttons uh, USB output or the AC output. For the AC output you need to just press and hold and it will enable the AC output. With my naked eyes I don't see any problems. For sure if something it smells so strong, so badly any electronics that means it has a problem and obviously is not charging anymore. I think everything is well positioning at the right uh, place. It is small, cute, portable, you can use it anywhere. And for those may ask if uh, you have checked uh, the output for the power adapter, yes I have uh, done that. We need 18 volts, sorry, yep, 17.98, 18 volts output, correct. So there is no problem with the power adapter, the problem it is here at the board. Now guys, you are smarter, you know how it looks this uh, all powers S200 portable power bank, I like it. I have managed to work with this uh, power bank many times, it helps for my outdoor videos, maybe charging my smartphone, uh, my tablet, uh, my camera, any products that I make in review outdoors and I need uh, to power on an external camera or even a portable router, it helps a lot. So let's uh, plug in again uh, the fan. The battery last. Power, we have power. Okay, plug it in very well. And of course I can't use any solar panel because it's using the same port, the DC port, like the power adapter. And again, it's not charging from the power adapter, but it will charge from the Type-C. Yep, correct, it's start charging. So I need to talk with all power support and see what is the problem. It is a good product, definitely. Of course, it has electronic parts. You never know when something it will break, that's happened. I'm sure they can handle and replace this unit. So now you are smarter my viewers, you know what parts it has inside and how it works uh, this uh, portable power bank. Thank you for watching, until my next video don't forget to subscribe, share this video you never know who may need it and hit the notification bell because more videos in the future are coming and you don't want to miss it. Have a nice and lovely day, bye bye.